Hey guys, welcome back to Von Kettle Kitchen. So I'm doing another Dollar Tree haul. I finished getting all the fairy garden stuff that I was talking about in my last video. So I apologize for all the brightness. It is super sunny here in Connecticut, but super, super cold. So just wanna show you, I actually have quite a bit of stuff to actually show you. So I'm going to save the fairy garden stuff for last. So let me show you what I got. So I picked up some more floral picks and I thought these were really cute. I love these cattails. My dad used to call them cat and nine tails. So I got a light pink. I have a green and a dark purple. And I just picked up some greenery. I'm just gonna put it in my little tea kettle that I use for just fake flowers because I can't put water in it or anything like that. So I just picked up some fun little greens. This is just onion grass. I picked up some fern. Thought that was nice. It comes in a couple different shades. And then I also picked up a spider plant. So, at least when my cats eat these, don't worry about them disappearing. So I also picked up, I thought these were really cool. They are tea light holders, but they feel very, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not whimsical, but I love geometric. Part of them. They had these and they also came in black, but I really liked the bronze gold color. So I also found these fun little things. As you guys can tell on my um, YouTube channel, I do a lot of cooking. They have silicone oven mitts. And for a dollar a piece, I couldn't go wrong. It does see, say heat resistant up to 500 degrees. That's the inside. Not this part. Um, I had to learn that yesterday, actually, when I tried to use one of them. The outside, it got a little hotter, but I felt nothing on here. So I also found um, just a couple little Christmas clearance items. I found these cute little tea lights, and I figured I'll save them for next year. They had a um, star one. I wasn't really crazy for it. And on the package, it does show that there was a Christmas tree one at some point, but I didn't see those there. I also saw this cute little tea light holder. It's just a little deer. Just thought it was fun. So I picked that up as well. So in my other videos, I posted about getting these little mesh baskets. I don't know if they're wire. In all honesty, they might be just coated with some rubber, but I like them. So this is actually going to be a craft for Halloween. I know it's January, I'm sorry people. But I picked them up because they were there. I wanted to make sure that they were still there. Drop the tea light holder. Didn't break though, we're good. I also picked up this cute little notebook. It says, no drama llama. It's Velcro. So I thought that was really, really cute. I'm actually going to Give that to my boss, she loves llamas. So I thought that was fun for a dollar, you can't go wrong. All right. Next, I picked up some more decals. I thought these were super cute. I'm pretty sure I got them before. I don't even remember, it could be in my pile of crafts. But I thought this was so cute. I figured maybe going on my uh, KitchenAid mixer, they're just cute little woodland animals, I really like them. And then this one was, I thought was really, really pretty. I thought maybe I'll put it on my pantry door since I have the foldable pantry doors, well, the accordion type doors. And because it's already split in half, I can put this on one side and then this one on the other. So when it shuts, it looks like a full butterfly. Not sure, just thought it was pretty. Not positive if I'm gonna use it or not, but for a dollar, I couldn't go wrong. I also found, um, I was super excited about this. Um, it was at the third, third store I went to uh, the other day and I know in my Michaels haul that I did I found little glass ornaments that have the hole in the center for like terrariums well Dollar Tree has these plastic ones there's a little air hole there so if you need to mist it you can mist from there I thought this was really cool and it's bigger than the ones that I had bought from Michaels I bought two of these has the hanger here nice opening I know the Dollar Tree sells this, the colored sand if you want to do it that way or anything like that. So I also found, which I'm going to keep an eye out. Where are they? 
keep an eye out for the other types. So you have these little um, fake little cactuses, but because they're just in there, I can pull it right out like this. So I don't, I actually don't need this at all. I just wanna use this, so it's gonna be like a craft. So I will put it inside here. I'll get some sand and stuff and I can hang it from my bay window. So we have that. Lastly, before the fairy garden stuff, I found these. I do a lot of gardening. If you had watched me in the very beginning when I first started YouTube last July, um, you see some video of my garden and everything like that. I thought these were super cute. You can write on with Sharpie, you get 10 of them. And they're just little plastic ones. I had chalk written ones, but these are just so, it, it's more beneficial really for me. And especially if I'm gonna do like the herbs and the pots and stuff like that. Because I have the cats, I have to have hanging pots so they hang in my front bay window. And I will start that in um, very late winter. So probably in like, end of February, very beginning of March, I'll actually start planting my seeds for my herbs so they can hang in my front window. So, now onto my fairy gardens. You can definitely turn these into little fairy gardens. Dollar Tree also sells the little clear bowls, which you can just do as a centerpiece. Um, I have, which I'll link in the bottom of this, well, not in this one. So when I do my next um, DIY for my terrarium that I have for the next season, I'm gonna be doing this fairy garden. I did it for Christmas, I did it for Halloween, and I did it for fall. So I use a cake stand that I got from my grandparents' house when they were cleaning out the farm. And I just used chalk paint, painted it, and it has a really heavy glass cover so my cats can't knock it off of the table. So I change it out for every season. And when I saw this, my eyes just lit up and my husband thought it was nuts. Um, I bought one of each and he's like, what are you gonna do with all that? So if I don't put it in the terrarium, I can definitely do something else. I can do like a little centerpiece. I can go back and get one of those little plastic bowls from Dollar Tree and make some more. So I first picked up some more reindeer moss. Thought this was a great idea, great for the fairy gardens. So I'm not gonna put these, I could, but I'm not gonna put these in the fairy garden. But I got these three little ceramic mushrooms. This one has a little green top. I don't know if you can really tell, little blue specks in it. And they are very kind of heavy. So these are two different brown ones. This one has a light brown with some red running through it. Oh, the light is horrible because it's so sunny here. And my blinds are closed. So that's the sunshine coming through. So there we go. Thought that was very pretty. Same thing with the brown. There's some cool looking like toad looking spots. That's what I think it looks like. So for the actual like housing, they have this cute little mushroom with a little chimney. So I thought that was a super adorable. Door doesn't open or anything, but for a dollar, you go to Michael's and you spend like four just for something like this. And then it has this little house, just a little log cabin. Thought it was super cute and a little tree trunk house. So I'm almost tempted to go out and buy some more of these because we have a cute little front garden. It's very, very tiny because we live in housing. And I figured putting like something like this out next to some tulips or whatever would be super cute. So it also came with, this says wishes, 10 cents. So it comes with a little well, wishes. There's a little arbor, let me take that off. Cute little arbor, just says welcome. <laughs> oh, this makes me chuckle every time. It has a little outhouse. <laughs> I think that is so super cute. So, on to the people. So we have, they have a little like wagon bicycle, a little shovel, so there's a little wagon the watering can, and then the shovel. Then there's a couple different little welcome signs, one with a leaf, one just with a regular sign, and a little birdhouse. So you can make a whole village if you want to, because this is super cute. I didn't see anything separate from like each individual ones. So these are the only fairies that I saw. I looked through the box. They had a box on the shelf. Um, that they hadn't put away yet, so I opened it up and took a peek. So nothing was different, everybody was still the same. So there's a little, 
some little fairies. And then they have these super cute little gnomes. This guy has a bird on his shoulder. I don't know if you guys can see it. Very glary here. They also have little patio furniture for them. So two little seats and a little table. And lastly, they have some animals. So they have hedgehogs seem to be a huge thing this year already. Little bunny and an owl. So I thought that was super cute. So I have all this stuff. I'm going to try to figure out how I'm going to do the terrarium. I will do a video on that and I will link my other holiday ones below in that video so you can see what I did for each holiday. So I know this was a lot of stuff to go through. So thank you for being very, very patient and dealing with the glaring sun and listening to me ramble on. I just feel like I can talk to you guys. And I just wanna say thank you for watching this video. If you are still watching, just make sure that you hit the thumbs up button to let me know that you really did enjoy this. And just give me a comment below of what else you would like to see as a DIY itself from Dollar Tree Items. If you have any questions, I would love to answer anything that you guys have and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. So keep on watching. I'm gonna be doing some more cooking and some more shopping and definitely some more crafting coming up. Now that Christmas is over and everything like that, I'm already getting spring fever. So it hasn't snowed yet. I kind of wish it did because it would feel more like winter, but at least I can go outside and take a walk with the dogs and not have to worry about slipping. So um, that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.